The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, Alas for you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites, you who are like whitewashed tombs that look handsome on the outside, but inside are full of dead men's bones and every kind of corruption. The same way you appear to people from the outside like good, honest men, but inside you are full of hypocrisy and lawlessness. Alas for you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites, you who build the sepulchres of the prophets and decorate the tombs of holy men, saying, We would never have joined in shedding the blood of the prophets had we lived in our father's day. So, your own evidence tells against you. You are the sons of those who murdered the prophets. Very well then, finish off the work that your fathers began. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. St. Louis of France, we are honoring today, was born in Poissy in France on the 25th of April in 1214. He was the son of King Louis VIII and Blanche, the daughter of Alfonso of Castile and Eleanor of England. King Louis VIII died when Louis was only 12 years old and his mother became regent for him. At the age of 19, he married Margaret, the eldest daughter of Raymond Berenger, the Count of Provence. They had 11 children, five sons and six daughters. In 1235, Louis came of age and took over the government of France. Devoted to God and his people, he was a model ruler who promoted peace and justice in his kingdom. He cared for the poor, he founded hospitals, promoted learning, and lived humbly and prayerfully among his people. The system of justice that he established settled disputes among his subjects by just procedures rather than using violence or fraud. Louis defeated King Henry II of England in 1242 and made a treaty with him in 12. 59. At the same time, his devotion to Christ inspired him to lead a crusade to the east in 1248. Louis captured Damietta in Egypt, but in 1250 was captured and taken prisoner by the Saracens. He was eventually released and with his army sailed to Palestine, where he remained until 1254. Then he returned to France upon hearing of the death of his mother, who had been acting as regent during his absence. Louis announced another crusade in 1267 and left for the east in 1270. During the voyage, he became ill and died at Tunis on August the 25th in 1270. Though his two crusades into the Holy Land largely failed, his heroic example and the loyalty that he displayed to his army left a lasting memory for his successors and his people. Louis is counted as one of the patrons of France. It is uh, one of the great uh, gifts that God gives us the gift of uh, good and holy leaders. And today, as we honor St. Louis of France, we might remember to pray for those who govern our lands, uh, govern uh, the different countries around the world, that they always seek to do the will of God and to treat their people with respect and, uh, and honor the dignity that all of us have as children of God, especially in these days when so many of our freedoms are impeded uh, due to government restrictions. Uh, it 
It's important that these be uh, proportional, that they be just. And so we must pray for wise and holy leaders after the example of St. Louis of France.